Hi everyone, this is a pick a card reading for yes or no to any question you have in your mind. So let's say you're thinking about something, you have one question. What you can do is you can click on the timestamps down below depending on which group you're most interested in. I will point out which group is which just for your convenience as well so that you know, you know which one is which. But um, say you have a question in your mind, you can go to the timestamps, click on the group you're most drawn to for that question, and then watch the reading. Say you then have another question, you can do the exact same thing until your questions basically run out. So what you can also do is write down all of your questions and then go step by step, because you may find that, you know, midway through maybe you change your question or, you know, things like that. So yeah, if you have some questions, feel free to choose whichever one just makes sense to you group-wise watch it, maybe ask another question, watch it, ask another question, What you, you get my gist, right? So um, yes, perhaps some of you also have maybe 12 questions and you want to go in order. So you can, again, write down all 12 of your questions and just go in order of how we do the reading, you know? So there's, there's lots of endless options. Perhaps you only have one question and you just are very drawn to one number or one particular group, totally fine. So before I explain which ones are which, I will just mention as well that if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description description box below which is of course down below and um, you can check out how to win a free reading with me if you would like to purchase a private paid reading information is also down below as well they're done within 24 to 48 hours and they're also available to purchase on my website shopmoonlightguidance.com I also put that there as well just to make sure that people can't basically take my videos and things like that because there's a lot of theft these days in terms of people stealing my videos and re-uploading it or pretending to be me so this actually really just protects everything as well in that sense because you know if they upload my videos technically they're just advertising my website <laughs> which is kind of funny actually um but yes everything's on there there's also intention manifesting items on my website which so many people have seen results with so there's things like handmade bracelets necklaces anklets pom-poms tassels embroidered cards which are hand embroidered by me which you can put under your pillow your wallet or your purse so there's lots of different ones for different areas of your life like love money career twin flame soulmate health happiness etc. There's also intention pouches which you can put under your pillow, your wallet or your purse as well. So those are also down below like you know linked. Everything is on my website and there's also face masks, crystals, divination coins, charms, pendulums etc. Everything is meditated with and saged. There's also a discount code as well. Make full use of that if you wanted to um, but that's there for your convenience. All right, so here are the groups. Okay, so we've got um, group number one, group number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right, I will leave where I can information about what each of the decks and each of the crystals is down below because if I go through it now, I know that there is a few that I'm still unsure of in terms of crystal names because they've probably gone off the top of my head and also, um, for example, I know what all of these decks are, but there's this one, which I've forgotten the name of, this particular deck, so then there's that, you know? So I'll leave all of the names down below, because there is 12 here, and again, it's going over the top of my head. And um, Plus, these two decks are the same. One is Collection A, and one is Collection B. <laughs> so, you know, I don't want to get that too confused when I'm, you know, explaining that. So everything will be listed down below, just for your convenience. It just makes things much, much easier. Um, but, uh, yes, that is what we have. So just makes things a lot easier for you and makes things a little bit easier for me as well because I could go through it all but I won't be able to give you like everything because again I've forgotten one of the decks you know so um yes we will do that and we will get started straight away so I'm going to keep the same setup and then we'll go through everything all right All right, so if you have chosen pile number one, which is this one right here, which is the Ulthakin deck with the clear quartz, then this is your answer. So we're gonna be looking into yes or no. All right, and I'm gonna be telling you exactly what I'm seeing. So I'm gonna um, just keep the setup as it is, just makes things a lot simpler, let's just say. So here we have the devil with the clear quartz. Now, what this really here shows that this particular thing may not be for your highest good. Sometimes there are things that we want in life. Sometimes we think we know the answer to things, but essentially this is showing a no. Um, and the reason for this is not because it's, 
Well, the thing here is that it's to do with your highest good. You know, sometimes there are better things for us in our life and sometimes there are things that we think we believe are right and that are not so terrible. But I just feel here that there is a no because there's something better coming your way. And that's also what this clear quartz is showing is that, you know, this clear quartz still has this sort of foggy kind of um, vibe inside of it. It's got, you know, it's got that. It's not completely clear, but it's called the clear quartz. So it shows here that the fog will lift and something better is going to come your way. And that really is the devil's energy. Sometimes holding on also does a lot more damage. And essentially it's about letting the fog clear. Um, you know, when you stir something a lot, you know, certain things, for example, you know, it can get really foggy, it can get really cloudy, but when you let it settle, it can go clear. And this is that energy here of like trying to just go with the flow, you know, try not to continuously like feel like you need to do everything. Sometimes when you just let things be, that's when things can really come together and progress in a much more satisfying and desirable manner. So that's really what the devil here is for sure showcasing and also telling you as well is go with the flow, try not to panic, and essentially that there's something so much better coming your way. So the answer to this question is no. All right, so that is what we have there. All right, group two. If you have chosen the yellow pile right here with the beautiful yellow quartz heart, and of course this shuffle tarot card, Let's have a look and see what your answer is. So your answer is, da, 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 you have got the Fool here, okay? The Fool is actually dressed up as the Hierophant, which is really, really interesting. Now this deck is, is one of those decks that sort of takes um, two sort of cards and sort of blends it into one. Um, now the thing about this really does show that there is a yes here and it may seem daunting but essentially it's showing you that there is a new avenue coming up ahead and so it shows a yes but it also shows here that things are going to take a nice turn and that there's going to be a refreshing energy that also follows through with this yes. So things are not just going to be the same cycle over and over again. Things are going to progress. It's almost like things are going to get so much lighter and brighter and so much more fulfilling for yourself as well. You see we have the zero here as well. We also have the sun shining over which is the solar plexus energy which is an energy of growth. So when we think about a yes, you know, it really does grow. It's an energy that is not close off necessarily and it's one that really just also contributes to inner peace, personal power, self-confidence, self-worth, self-acceptance and trusting and accepting your gut feelings which is exactly what the fool represents. It's about that sort of personal power combined with inner peace but also self-confidence right and then of course you've got that sort of hierophant energy as well which is all to do with stability and security and progression moving forward and really listening to your gut and your instincts. So many of you already know kind of within yourself that the answer to this is yes you feel really really connected but it also here showcases a sense of rebirth a sense of progression and a new chapter as well it's a traveling energy which sprouts towards a lot of progression um, and this energy of you know really reaching your goals as well so to me this really is very very joyful this card is super joyful and it shows here that it's an energy of growth which is not withholding you or holding you back let's say you also have the citrine um, crystal as well which is definitely showcasing lots of progression and a happy heart now I would also recommend that you meditate on your solar plexus chakra the solar plexus chakra is located right between your um like your belly button and your heart chakra. So like right in between is where your solar plexus chakra lies. And if you meditate on your solar plexus chakra, because it's the sun's energies, you will start to feel so much brighter. And within yourself, you will also be much more accepting of the answer here as well. Whatever's happening for you is truly happening for the best. And also um, going out and soaking in a little bit of the sunshine, when of course it's not too harsh, can also be really great for you in terms of the journey and the progression that you go down in regards to things coming your way as well so it's nothing but positive um but yeah you've got that energy here as well I like just look at that as well it's a sense of freedom transformation progression joy happiness fulfillment things really going in the right direction and a sense of um freedom in many ways as well which I think is just so so beautiful it's really lovely to see it's it's a definite yes from what we see here and I just think it's so beautiful right because it's a yes that just points you in the direction of more to come. And it's a yes that also points you in a direction of so much more 
joy and it's just it's not closed off so wow it's a yes because I see so much growth coming your way that's the thing so much growth so much more movement and it's connected also to um your solar plexus chakra but also I think your heart chakra as well because hierophant is earth energy earth energy is connected to the heart chakra so your solar plexus and your heart chakra um seem to really be in line with the answer here, which I think is significant. So you can meditate on your solar chakra, ah, can't even speak, wow, solar plexus chakra and your heart chakra. I was going to say both of them at the same time. That's what happens when I do that. Okay. All right. So group three, if you have chosen this group right here, we're going to see if it is a yes or no to your question. So you have got here the beautiful citrine crystal and we also have here as well the romantic tarot. So the answer to your question, well the card that we have here is actually the king of cups as you see. And uh, there's a real sense of like opulent, op <laughs> wow, I can't even speak. I was getting, well, actually I was going to say two words at the same time. And so that's why I got a bit stuck. First of all, I see opportunity. Second of all, I see opulence. And I just feel like both of those wanted to come out at the same time. So to me, this definitely showcases a yes. The King of Cups shows a lot of nourishment, a lot of growth, and this sort of self-soothing energy. I also see here as well a lot of satisfaction and a lot of maturity and progression it actually matches with my nails. All of this gold as well, right? That's pretty, pretty. Um, but the main thing here also with the flowers, the roses here, there's a sense of celebration. There's a sense of um, content energy, feeling fulfilled, feeling satisfied. And for sure, the King of Cups here really does show things coming together, things progressing, things going in the right direction, um, feeling happy feeling content. It's a very strong yes. The King of Cups also shows here that there's so much more to still come your way and that you you don't have to feel like things are closed off, especially for those of you that may feel like this answer takes on board a bit of a negative context for you because remember yes or no doesn't just mean that a yes is positive and a no is um, negative, you know, it can, it can take on board reverse. But if you have come to me and you have, well, you come for your answer technically, um, but if you come for your answer and you find like this is quite a negative thing in regards to your answer, just realize that actually there's so much more abundance coming your way. It's not actually meant in a really harmful or terrible way. It just actually goes to show that there's so much more opulence, opportunity and it's not over, you know, things are not over in that sense because I feel here that there is definitely a vibe of your cup being more than full and getting to a point where the energy and the love that you give to yourself is just um, becoming a catalyst for something that is much brighter and stronger than anything else. This water energy is very, very beautiful because it's about going with the flow, progression, and the beautiful citrine crystal here is also like this fresh energy. It's very fresh, it's very... I was going to say fruity, fruity and fresh. <laughs> Maybe that's the drink vibe that, that is existing. But it's, it's a really good energy which goes to show that there's so much more to come your way and that ultimately you may not always feel it, right? You may not always feel that that's how things are going to be. But I really do feel like things are going to come together um, totally for your highest good. Um, which I may have mentioned, you know, also in, in some of the other readings, but as ultimately what I do feel here is that the King of Cups shows ultimate power, right? So no matter what the answer to this is, is that it's giving you ultimate power. It's putting you in a place of comfort and security and putting you on the throne, right? So even if you feel like this is a negative context, moonlight for my question, actually it's putting you in a place of power so try not to feel like it's taking everything away from you because I don't necessarily feel that it is. I actually think that it's giving you so much more power than you could have ever thought or hoped for in that sense. So even though the answer to this is yes, like many of you will be like yeah yeah Moonlight, it's, it's good, it's great, I understand. Some of you might have come here for you know an answer and it may seem negative but actually it's powerful. So regardless of whatever your question is, it's giving you power, it's giving you confidence, and it's going to allow you to taste 
success at a level that you just never thought you could, right? So it's giving you so much more of a boost, especially emotionally as well. For those of you that have been struggling emotionally, there's so much more abundance and fulfillment to come your way. So just know that it's coming and your cup is not going to be half empty. No, it's not going to be a quarter empty. It is going to be full to the brim, overflowing. Trust me on that one. Just like these roses, they just grow and grow and grow. Look at how many roses you have there. And that is what we have right there. Oh, yes. All right. Group four. So if you have chosen group four, which we have right here, we're going to have a look and see whether this is a yes or no to your question. So let's have a look. So you have chosen um, this particular deck with the tiger eye star. How beautiful, how stunning, how gorgeous. Wow, I love tiger eye. You know, sometimes the way it's cut as well is just so, so interesting and beautiful, um, the colours that it hits. Let's put it next to the pentacles. Very fitting um, to put the star there. Okay, so here is the answer to your question. The eight of challenges. Hear me out. Okay, before you click off this video, hear me out for a second. Just as, you know, even if it's a quick second. The eight of challenges does show that what you have in terms of your mind can be a bit of a challenge. It can be frustrating, it can be overwhelming, and sometimes the best thing to do is to try and let go. You can get very tired um, and you can feel very overwhelmed and there can be um, a scenario here where things perhaps don't work out the way that you want to. But also sometimes, you know, tarot can actually give us a warning and can also prepare us towards certain challenges as well. Not all challenges are bad. There can be some challenges that really do help us and to make us and sort of make us progress towards things that are so much better for us, so much more fulfilling and uh, much, much better for our highest growth sorry, our highest good and our, our growth. So even though the answer here is no, I actually feel like it can really help you in terms of how you can progress through these challenges, but also through other challenges as well. Life isn't perfect, but that does not mean that, um, it doesn't mean that you're gonna, like, I don't feel like you're gonna get even more worse issues and challenges and troubles. I really don't feel like that's going to happen. I think that this is really the worst of it in many ways. Um, I think that the Eight of Challenges shows that there can be a bit of a hiccup as well for some of you in terms of what you're asking about, but also that you can very much so get through this. So this actually does showcase movement, right? Because Eights and Tarot are actually known to be quite lucky. They are also energies which showcase movement, growth, progression. And so whatever this challenge is, it may feel quite challenging. Let's yeah, that's well, I just said, I've repeated the same thing over and over again, but you can get through this, and that's really one of the biggest things that I am picking up on. It may sometimes feel like, oh my god, you know, head in the hands, it's overwhelming, it's challenging, you know, it's, it's frustrating, but actually, it can lead to so much more growth and you essentially becoming a much stronger person, a much wiser person in terms of further choices and decisions that you make for yourself and how you also progress within yourself towards other things that you do as well. So I don't feel like this is um, an energy that's showing you that, okay, well, this is the end. Goodbye. That's it. Ciao, ciao. No, well, ciao can also mean hello, right? So it's one of those things where I really feel like you're going to get through this obstacle, you're going to get through this um, particular hiccup and challenge, and you're going to become stronger, and it's going to lead you to stronger paths and avenues and directions, which just make you feel so much happier, so much more confident, and so much more fulfilled as well. So I really feel like this energy here showcases a no, but it's almost like it's making you stronger. You see you've got the tiger eye here, which goes to show that whatever this no is, is actually strengthening you um, and it's actually um, sort of like a blessing in disguise, which is bizarre, but there you go, right? For some of you, the no is in a really positive context as well and you're probably like, okay, I mean, like, like it's positive, it's positive. Um, but yeah, it is positive, you know, even if the no is in a bad context, let's say, it's still very positive because it's, it's strengthening you and it's, ba it's basically making you unbreakable in many ways to allow other wishes to come to fruition. Sometimes certain things that we think are really good for us are actually causing blockages for other things and so the universe can be like, okay, well, if I don't grant this, 
but I can grant you another 10 things that could be even better. It's one of those kind of vibes. So it's really best for us to also trust the universe and trust the direction in which we go in because ultimately there's a wise energy with the universe in terms of what they're trying to tell you here. And even though it's no, it's definitely showing you that there's a blessing behind the scenes, which I think is very, very vital and very important to keep in mind. With this particular card, it's not all terrible, it's not all bad, it just goes to show that there is a lot of progression, a lot of good movement and a lot of really, um, a lot of strength that's going to evolve throughout the process in regards to this. So it's not terrible, it's not bad, I don't see that there. All right, so that's your card. All right, so if you have chosen group number five with this beautiful Lapis Lazuli Blue Moon and the Shuffle Tarot card, we have your answer for your question. So yes or no, let's have a look and see whether it's a yes or no. We have got here Ace of Cups. <laughs> wow, <laughs> I'm surprised myself um, because I meditated with all of these and then um, all of the decks. I had all of the decks in front of me and what I do is I meditated with all of them and then, um, you know, I shuffled each deck and then the cards came out accordingly and I just took one for each one so I mean to have the ace of cups is pretty spectacular this is a yes it is an overflowing yes as you can see right here right um it's actually showing you as well that everything that's really going to happen um is beautiful and it is a sense of freedom you know you are going to be able to um really um, indulge in all of the abundance coming your way. You're going to be able to enjoy it. You're going to feel fulfilled and happy. The Ace of Cups shows opportunities are going to come your way. There is not a lack of opportunities. It's just a case of the right opportunities manifesting for you. Ace of Cups definitely does show that there is a lot of abundance that is waiting to come through. And some of you may be thinking to yourself like, yeah, I mean, like, I'm waiting, like, hello. Trust me when I say it will come your way. <laughs> that rhymed. How beautiful. Um, it rhymed. And uh, ultimately, that is something that's quite beautiful. Also, it's 2222 on my, um, I mean, I could also show you as well on my phone, actually. Let's do that. Sorry, I have some like TikTok notifications on here <laughs> for anyone that follows me on there. Um, oh, it turned 2223, but you you get my point, right? It was 2222. I'm, I'm sure you can trust that I, I, you know, that was actually really the case. Um, so, um, yes, Ace of Cups, you're on the right path in your life. I think actually that's probably a very, very big sign um, just by you seeing that repeating number scenario situation right there. You're on the right path in terms of progression and growth because you also had 22, 23, which is also like a, a progressive number. So, I, you know, I don't know if I can give you a better confirmation than that. It definitely goes to show here that there's a very, very solid yes on the table and there's so much more, you know, still yet to come your way. It just goes to show that there's um, a real sense of peace and progression and a really beautiful energy which is showing you that you know even through uncertainty and difficult times trust your intuition trust your gut because that's the moon's energy right your intuition is one of the strongest things that you have it's what can keep you from trouble you know at times it's also something that you can boost more if you meditate on your third eye and so when you meditate focus on your third eye which is located just slightly above where your eyebrows are. So imagine where your eyebrows are, right? That little point in the middle just got a little bit, maybe like, I don't know, an, an inch-ish higher? Is an inch the right measurement? Um, and that's your third eye, but you could always Google, you know, and try to find the exact placement because I'm trying to explain it in the best possible way. Um, and, you know, focus on your third eye. Visualize it glowing a beautiful indigo um, color. And, um, you know, feel it activating, feel it opening, because that's also going to allow you to pick up on other people's energies and to sense who's good for you, who isn't, things like that as well. And uh, can really strengthen your gut and your intuition with certain decisions you make. So definitely say that this is a big yes, but also trust. 
trust changes in your life, trust the path in your life, trust the, you know, the things that sometimes feel uncertain, because uncertainty can lead to more certainty, and uh, that's one of the biggest things I see here, spread your wings, fly, um, there's a sense of transformation, you know, some of you may have felt like, you know, caterpillars in cocoons that just feel really isolated and lonely trust that you will turn into that butterfly and you will find your freedom and your abundance because I really feel like a good change is going to come your way very very shortly and that this is going to make everything very very much so worthwhile in terms of progression to the point where you're going to be like oh moonlight I found my wings moonlight I found my wings <laughs> it's really beautiful actually because you've literally got the bird right there as well it's it's stunning isn't it it's just flowing and flowing flowing ah so beautiful so so beautiful okay so that's a yes by the way <laughs> just in case it wasn't you know too obvious okay i'm just gonna take a little sip of my water I said sip and then I just ended up gulping everything. It's typical. <laughs> All right. All right, so if you have chosen group number six, we're gonna have a look and see whether this is a yes or a no to your question. So you have chosen this stunning group which has this absolutely stunning blue heart crystal and then you've also chosen here the classic tarot which actually has a lot of different names this deck has I swear to god at least three different names which is rather bizarre um but it's also known as the classic tarot so <laughs> keep that in mind um so let's have a look and see whether it is a yes or a no so we have got here the devil okay now I will say that the energies in regards to this kind of sway two different ways. It's leaning more towards a no, but there seems to be a bit of a grey area. And keep in mind that grey areas can very much so exist. I would say here that there's something that you're definitely holding on to and that you're really wanting to make happen. The thing about this is sometimes when we're holding on so much to something, it leads to a lot of attachment. And that attachment can stop things from manifesting on time. It can actually lead things to well, become quite stagnant, stale and stationary. So what you want to do is you want to detach from these attachments and sort of let things flow. Because when you're attached, there's this energy, right? It's, it's holding on. It sometimes does more damage. It can be um, quite toxic, actually, if you kind of have a look at this. You know, these two people are literally chained together. And when they're chained together, it can be quite toxic, right? Detachment is necessary to kind of untoxify the energy. So when we detach, it can actually feel like vulnerability, right? Because you're kind of letting go. But that's how abundance can come into the hand, just like that Ace of Pentacles we see there. So there's definitely an energy here which shows that things, you know, for whatever you ask for, things can come together, but you must also be prepared to detach from what you want. If you are able to detach from what you want and just go with the flow, focus on other things, let yourself, you know, be a part of that energy and take care of yourself, then everything will come together in a very beautiful and very significant way. But if you fail to detach, what can happen is you can get even more attached to your outcomes and your expectations, thus it can cause even more suffering. You can then feel like you just can't let go of it and therefore it can create a toxic environment where you're you know, you suffer emotionally and mentally and physically and spiritually and it can just make you feel like you can't find a way out. You know, it's kind of like digging a hole. So detachment allows everything to come together in a very beautiful way. What is detachment? Healing. Healing is letting go. What is letting go? Detachment. Detachment really is one of the biggest keys also with the law of attraction. So, for example, when people are practicing the law of attraction, or they're wanting to manifest something, sure, in that moment, they know exactly what they want, right? So they're attaching themselves to whatever it is that they want. But as soon as they finish, they'll focus on something else, they'll go and do other things, they'll take care of themselves. They're not constantly holding on to that one thing 24-7, right? They're kind of just doing whatever. And in that energy, the universe sees it, and then they will give you, you know, what you want. But if you continue to hold on to it every single second, it creates an issue, it creates a problem, right? Where it's too much energy in one particular direction. That can really 
corrupt the energy basically you know so what i will say here is that the energy can sway in a really positive way if you are prepared to detach from your expectations that's why subliminal music works is because in that moment, you know, people know what they want. But the minute they click off of that music, you know, they'll focus on something else. They'll do something else. They'll take care of themselves in another way. They're not so attached. Um, so I think that's really important here um, from what I see with this particular card um, specifically is be prepared to know what you want, but also be prepared to detach from it. It's a little bit like, you know, sometimes people want success in certain areas but they also have to then have acceptance towards where they are right now and to take care of themselves and to kind of know that you know what maybe I can't right now but I will be in the future a little bit like I'll give you an analogy say for example someone really wants to buy something but they know that at this very point in time they can't afford it instead of them dwelling on it every single second of the day they'll think no it's okay you know at some point in the future I'll be able to do this maybe not today but maybe you know later on in life I'll be able to buy it or whatever and then they kind of you know do their own thing and then eventually one day comes where they then can buy that particular thing you know so it really is detaching that can let things come together so it does show a no but it does also show that detaching can actually change the outcome here, which is interesting. Very, very interesting here as well, especially with this heart. Okay, wow, what a vibe. Now we're into the second, second half of things. So we're gonna go down here. All right, so if you have chosen group number seven, which is right down here with the turquoise star, and this deck here, which has a beautiful ombre to it. Wow, look at that, stunning, right? Um, we're gonna have a look and see whether it is a yes or a no. So you've got the turquoise star. Okay, let's have a look. So your answer here is dun, 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 the king of wands, wow. All right, so this here says entrepreneur slash charismatic. So this is a very positive card. This definitely does go to show a yes. Um, it's a very positive, it's a very straightforward yes. There's no ifs, buts, what ifs whatnots you know what I mean like it's a yes um, this also does represent creativity progression stamina leadership um, and things really coming together and also like having a very solid vision towards what you want and it just manifesting like boom you know it comes together it progresses it goes in the right direction and it just moves in the best possible way should I say so it's a really good vibe it's a really good energy and I really like what I see here because it definitely does go to show that there's a nice energy and it also goes to show as well that there's definitely a sense of progression motivation dedication um, and things really moving in the correct the correct way so this is a really really strong yes I mean you know, also you've got here the turquoise star, so this shows here a wish come true as well. And also the turquoise um, is very much so a stone which represents solitude, peace, healing. Um, so it's a really positive energy which shows that no matter what the answer here is, is that it's bringing you positivity, it's bringing you healing, it's bringing you a better option, opportunity um, moving forward as well. And it's also helping you. So, you know, whatever the answer here is, and however you feel about it, it's bringing you so much more. It's bringing you an opportunity to progress forward, to be much more informed, to um, have more pleasures in your life, um, have more of a pursuit in your life. This also can indicate so much more opportunity, luck, optimism, um, effort, you know, that other people also put towards you, interesting surprises, originality, um, real change as well, like total change but also dreams, imagination, and your spiritual path becoming much more clear for yourself and also for those around you, which I think is, is beautiful, right? It's beautiful to see that. Um, so this is a very, very, very clear cut yes, which is also aligned to a wish come true and so much more peace and happiness also following through as a result, which I think is absolutely stunning and also very, very beautiful. So this is this is nothing but, you know, stunning, beautiful, um, exciting energy, a really exciting vibe and it's just so positive isn't it it's just really really lovely very positive and uh progressive love it really do that that you know just goes to show that there's a there's a really good vibe in the air so that shows that yes things are going to progress and move forward in the right direction so wonderful okay so let's move forward to the next group
All right, so if you have chosen pile number eight, so group eight, we're gonna have a look and see yes or no, what is the answer to your question? So let's have a look and see. All right, so you have chosen this beautiful group where it's the Golden Art Nouveau deck card, and then you've also got this beautiful um, heart. It's like um, a maroonish brown red crystal. All right, so let's have a look, yes or no. So we have here the two of pentacles. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess I wasn't expecting this because you know I don't know which cards went into which piles in that sense because I actually meditated with each of the decks and then shuffled every single deck and then got the cards out accordingly. And definitely the Two of Pentacles is a very kind of like 50-50 energy, right? That That's what it's known as. And it's a balancing and juggling energy. So with this, what I would really recommend, because it's, it's interesting that this happened, is that it's showing 50-50. Now, if you wanted to ask this question again and choose another pile, feel free to do so, but I'm going to explain what this also means. This is a card of duality. It's a card of mutual energy, which means that things can sway either way, depending on energies and depending on what the circumstances around the situation is as well. Like other people might be making um, choices around this that could also impact how things flow, progress and grow, but also that it's a pretty, pretty strong maybe because of the fact that the Two of Pentacles represents a juggling energy and it also represents things going sort of like two ways. And it's interesting actually because the card also has the two trees on both sides, right? It's like it can go this way, it can go this way, but at the end of the day, you've got these two trees. And so there's definitely that sort of two-sided energy coming through here as well, which I think is really, really interesting. Now this does show here that it can sway towards a positive outcome. So for example, if you've come to me, um, or come to this reading technically, <laughs> and you've asked a question, the positive answer of it is what it could sway towards because it doesn't just mean that yes is positive and it doesn't just mean that no is negative, you know what I mean? Like a yes can actually be negative in some contexts and a, um, a no could actually be really positive in certain contexts. So this is leaning positive, that's what I would say, right? There is a certain way that this is leading, so I will tell you that this is a maybe leaning more so towards a yes, which I think is quite significant for you to know. So that's something to keep in mind, but you can always ask this question again and see what comes through for, you know, one of the other um, groups. Now, for those of you where I mentioned if you had um, written down 12 questions and you're going in order, I would recommend sort of jotting this one down and um, choosing another group at random and sort of skipping to that before you sort of finish the rest, if that makes any sense. So, yeah, that well, you can do it either way, you know, you can do it however you want, but um, for sure, Two of Pentacles really does show, like, it's a maybe energy, leaning more towards a yes, um, well, actually more towards a positive answer, you know, because sometimes the positive answer can also be no, so keep that in mind, is that it could lean yes or no, but more so positive, right? So that's really what I am seeing there, it's, it's a more of a positive direction that it's going in, really beautiful with the gold, isn't it? Oh, my nails are also sparkling. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Okay, so that's what we have right there. So I really hope that helped you. Okay, so that was a maybe leaning towards a yeah. Um, sorry, it was a maybe leaning towards a positive answer. There we go. And you've got that beautiful heart there as well, which is uh, quite solid as well. Strength, it's like showing strength. You know, when I'm thinking of this crystal, I kind of think about like a tree trunk as well, which of course is just super, super strong, isn't it? So that is what I am seeing there. All right, so if you have chosen number nine, which is this one right here, I'm gonna show you in a second. It is the flower deck, the soul, the soul tarot with this rose quartz star crystal. We're gonna have a look and see what is coming through. All right, so number nine, let's have a look. So yes or no, what is the answer here? So we have actually got the five of wands. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. So also when I look at the star as well, you know, it's got five points to it, which is really interesting. Um, so to me, I feel like the answer here is um, a no. 
It's also showcasing healing as well with the rose quartz as well, which is really quite significant for this. So it can also signify an ending that leads to a new beginning, um, a change of perspective, which may be very important as well in regards to what it is that you're asking about. Now, a change of perspective can also be about healing and taking care of yourself and putting yourself on the front, you know, what's the word? Not the front burner. <laughs> you know how sometimes you describe things and it's like, oh, you should put this on the back burner. <laughs> but front burner makes no sense really in that context. So it's about putting yourself first, taking care of yourself, looking after yourself and really just being there for yourself as much as you can. Because I do see like there is a no to this particular um, question. I mean, it doesn't mean that it's like completely, completely gone and out of question, whatever it is that you're asking about. But it does show here that there needs to be um, I would say much more focus and much more energy towards yourself than perhaps always towards others. That's definitely something that's coming through. And the fact is, is that you have got this really strong energy of the rose quartz crystal as well. Now, the rose quartz crystal is really, really vital. Why is it vital, you might ask? Well, it's vital essentially because the rose quartz crystal is about things really manifesting for your higher good, but it also requires a letting go energy, which is about focusing more on yourself and healing and taking care of, you know, of yourself. It shows the five points to the star as very important, you know, even on the pentacles as well, you know, you've got those five points as well. And the five points, especially in tarot, when you've got fives, it represents change, it represents perspective, it can sometimes also represent chaos. Like if you see chaos, then more chaos can manifest. If you see healing, more healing can manifest. If you see care and love and attention, but give it to yourself, it can manifest. So it's showing you that whatever you give to yourself is what can manifest, right? So it's basically showing here change. Change is what's necessary. So the more love you give yourself, the more you can gain love in different areas of your life, be it your career, be it, you know, whatever it is that you're asking about, be it your career, love, relationships, etc. Um, because that's really what we do see here. However, if you are not really giving to yourself, then it can manifest an energy of more that is not given to you, if that makes sense. So I would definitely recommend, you know, giving to you, taking care of yourself, putting yourself first. That's really what allows everything else to come together and to also progress in a, you know, a really sort of like solid manner in that sense, because it can be so much more, I want to say progressive, like I do feel like it can be, you know, so much more progressive, and it can really help you and sort of calm energies around and make you feel better, happier, stronger, um, and just, you know, overall, much, much better within yourself. So I think that that can be, you know, a really, really good vibe and a really good energy. Um, so I think that it's something definitely to, yeah, to keep in mind for sure, but it is something that we do pick up on here, which I think is, you know, super vital is that a change of perspective sort of needs to take place. And when you do that, you will also feel so much better, right? The perspective within yourself will lead to you feeling so much more refreshed, um, especially with the rose quartz, as it can bring so much more fulfillment into your life. And the more fulfillment you give to yourself, the more love and care and, you know, that vibrant energy you give to yourself, the more things are manifesting for you, progressing for you, more happiness and joy is coming your way. And I think that that can make you feel so much happier, so much more content and also relieved in certain aspects where things are really progressing in the, like in the right direction, which can also make you feel so much happier, um, for sure. So I feel like that is, you know, just really, really vital and um, extremely, extremely crucial as well. But yeah, it can definitely be, you know, a solid, solid energy. Um, in that sense. So yeah, what I will say is that it looks like a no, but show, shown by this is it shows that your perspective really also makes a big difference as well for other things. Um, and healing is very important. So even though it's a no, it shows that, you know, things are happening for your greater good. And keep that in mind that sometimes it's also our perspective, you know, for example, when people get rejected, it's very easy to think like, oh my god, I'm getting rejected, I'm not good enough, this, that and the other. But what they may fail to see is, you know, I'm getting rejected because I'm being redirected. 
you know, people, people's perspective really does vary. Like when people get rejected by someone, they may think I'm not good enough. Like, I can't believe this. You know, this stuff always happens to me. But then there are other people that think, you know what, maybe this was not meant to be. Maybe there's something better out there for me, right? So it's all about perspective. And your perspective can be one of the greatest things because that can also bring so much more good energy your way. It can allow you to progress forward and to kind of see things in a different way, which can also bring so much more peace and calm to yourself. Um, so keep that in mind. Rejection can be redirection, but also there are bigger things waiting for you, you know? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so that's something to definitely keep in mind. Um, healing is the key there. For sure, for sure. Okay, so... All right, so if you have chosen group number 10, let's have a look and see, yes or no, what is the answer to your question? All right, let's have a look. Oh, sorry, I, was like, pick, I just picked up the wrong one. I was like, that's, that's not the one. <laughs> okay, so here we go. We've got the crystal right here. It's actually a pointer crystal, beautiful. Stand it up. And you've got here this beautiful card from, I believe this is the Super Lunaris Tarot. Okay, beautiful ombre here. Actually, there's another deck here which has a beautiful ombre as well. Um, so there we go. Yes or no, let's have a look. So your answer here is... Dun, 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 dun. It's a yes. Wow, look at that chariot, right? That's a very, very, very solid yes. So regardless of what your question is, it's a pretty solid yes, which means that it's a very solid yes, like solid as solid can be. Chariot is about forward progression, it's about movement, it's about things becoming harmonious and balanced. So it is a very very big yes. A yes that is moving in the direction of more yeses. Um, so that's something to definitely keep in mind with the chariot right here. You've also got the moon right at the top there. Of course, the Cancerian energy rules over the chariot card. And Cancer is also tied to the moon as well. Um, it's known to be the moon child. So I think one thing to definitely keep in mind is that there's quite a solid energy which points, no pun intended, towards things really being a very, very direct and solid yes. I mean, I don't know what more to say about this. So, I mean, I just feel here that there is a very strong vibe of, of certain things that are just meant to happen. They're meant to happen because there are lessons in place. There are things we need to learn. There are ways in which things have to happen so that people recognize and progress forward in certain directions and in certain ways. And there are things that are just meant to happen the way that they do. And ultimately, there's nothing more that we can sort of do to control certain aspects and certain elements of things, except for, you know, at times just really focusing on ourselves and letting things naturally progress. The chariot here is very much so about letting things naturally progress, but also, in many ways, um, very much so sort of taking care of yourself and putting yourself first and putting yourself in the driver's seat and the driver's position because ultimately that can help you a lot in terms of how you feel within yourself and the things that happen and the things that you do and things like that, right? <laughs> I feel like I just keep saying things a lot, but I feel like good things are going to also come your way. So you're very much so going in the right direction. I don't feel like this is an energy that is taking away your energy or that things are not going to work in your favor. If anything, I think that there are some wonderful things that will come your way, that will progress your way, and that will give you a lot of satisfaction also going forward. Um, but I feel like this is definitely something that was meant to have happened. And there's a very solid yes um, in regards to it. So that is what we have. It's all pointing in a direction of yes and uh, movement in that sense. Okay, so that is what we have right there. I'm just also going to turn the heater off before we go to the next group, all right? So that was that. <coughs> and I'm also gonna take a sip of my water whilst I'm at it.
All right, so if you have chosen group number 11, which is this one right here, this is your answer for yes or no to your question. So let's have a look. So we have this stunning crystal right here, and we also have the after tarot deck. So let's have a look and see what the answer holds for you. We have got here, dun 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 dun, dun a yes. You know what, this is a karmic yes. A very, very karmic yes. So threes um, in tarot are actually very karmic. Um, it's about lessons and learning and growth and evolving, but based on based on karma and uh, the things that we have done and the things that we have progressed with. So it's interesting because I do see here a very progressive energy. I do see here a moving energy. And I also feel like the answer here is a very, very solid yes. Um, I mean, I just feel like it's to do with karma and the things that have progressed and moved forward for you um, previously and prior. I, I definitely feel that there's an energy here of sometimes you feeling like, oh, maybe this is like a gamble. You know, this um, crystal also reminds me a little bit of a die, right? Where you throw it, you roll it, and then you get a number. It really reminds me of that, especially the shape of it. Um, of course, die is one and dice is plural, but <laughs> that's what I used to think actually when I was like a, a few years ago. I used to think that dice actually just means that it's like one. <laughs> but I didn't realize that one is called a die, anyways. But um, <laughs> the Three of Pentacles definitely does go to show. At times, you may feel like you're sort of gambling um, with certain ideas and choices, or that maybe you don't always know the answer, but essentially, it's showing here that you will always find your way um, because the Three of Pentacles shows that universe is really on your side. So even sometimes if you don't feel like you know the answer or you don't really know where things are headed or how things are progressing, you know, things really are going to move in the right direction. Um, things really are going to come together in the right way. Um, you may not always feel like you know how or why or when or, you know, there may be a lot of ifs and buts and hows and you know, how's that going to be and how's that going to be? But ultimately, I really do feel here that the answer here is a yes. It's almost showing, you know, work hard, do you, put yourself first and things really do work in your favour. And even if yes seems like a bit of a negative sort of context to your question, it shows here that the more you work on yourself and put yourself first and you know, ultimately you really look after yourself, uh, the more things are coming together. And that's one of the biggest things that I do pick up on uh, with this particular reading is that, you know, things really are going in your favour. I mean, you may not always feel like things are going in your favour, but they, they really are. And that's one of the biggest things that we for sure do see here. So I think that that's also, you know, quite, quite significant in many ways is that there is an energy here of things going in the right, the right direction. So it's a pretty solid yes, I would say. I don't think that there's anything else really, but I do feel like the Three of Pentacles shows that, you know, if you do the right thing and you take care of yourself and you put yourself first, um, there is a an energy of movement um, and direction here. Also, if you're asking on behalf of someone else, you know, if they are able to put in energy and take care of themselves, then again, there is, you know, good movement, good direction, um, good progression as well and less of an energy that gets um, stuck or stagnant, let's say. So it really does progress in a really good, um, in a good way, which obviously is, is really great to see and very progressive and, you know, nice to, nice to witness as well in that sense, which is, uh, you know, which is really lovely, isn't it? So I think that that's definitely one of the, the strongest vibes and strongest energies that we do, yeah, that we do pick up on. Um, and that we do see. So, yeah, I don't think I have anything else necessarily to say about it, except for the Three of Pentacles shows that due to karma and the things that have happened also in past lives as well, the answer to this is a yes, um, because it shows here lessons and learning, and essentially that was really important um, for all of this to sort of come together in this sense. And again, that... All of this has happened as a result of the past life as well, interestingly enough. So yeah, keep that in mind, is that, you know, if there are certain things happening, it's because they were meant to due to the past life. And if there are certain things that you feel like, oh my gosh, you know, this yes means that it's like in a negative context, 
again it's very much so to do with past life and how things were supposed to happen as a result of the past life as well or as a result of a past life so that's something to also very very much so keep in mind um, in that sense so yeah that is definitely what we do have right there which is for sure very very interesting so that is what we have <laughs> that is literally what we have there okay so that is number 11 then we go to number 12 all right so number 12 if you have chosen group number 12 you have got the rose quartz heart along with this rider weight style card so it's basically rider weight but it's a version of it if that makes sense and then the back of it looks like this so let's have a look yes or no we have here a no now the tower is quite significant you know the tower is an energy that can at times feel extremely brutal like oh my goodness the tower moonlight ciao ciao i gotta go i'm gonna click off your video bear with me because ciao doesn't always mean bye mm, it could also mean hi so <laughs> that was so cheesy but hey look stay with me the tower is sometimes an energy of destruction destruction can also make things come together in a stronger way i'm not saying that that's always the case but for sure the tower here shows that sometimes a demo um, a demolition is needed in order to rebuild something to a better standard and a better quality and in a better way rejection is redirection that's the kind of vibe that i'm getting for this from this particular card it's aries energy it's mars energy mars is ruled by aries so when you have that really strong like dominant fiery energy and mars Mars energy it can feel overwhelming it can feel crazy it can feel quite challenging not gonna lie it can feel very challenging but it can also be a beautiful blessing because it can show here that if things get demolished and things don't work out as and how and what you plan for and what you hope for the universe is seeing something better for you the universe wants to put things together for you in a much better way they want things to be 10 times better than what they are. And you may not necessarily be able to see how those things could be 10 times better, but trust me, the universe sees everything. The universe can hear conversations you can't hear. The universe can see things you can't see. So imagine, right, whatever they are trying to do is for your highest good. When things fall apart, it's happening for a reason. If you get rejected, it's happening for a reason. So even though this is a no, there is a silver lining to this. And the silver lining here is that better things are coming together. You have to trust the universe. You have to trust that that's the, you know, the way in which things are happening. And also, other thing as well with the tower energy, oh, I almost knocked over the, the church right here. Wow, I have a really bendy thumb. <laughs> I just noticed that. Um, hopefully no one's too freaked out by that. Uh, it's just a very flexible them. Um, you have the rose quartz heart, right, which really goes to show that things are healing and things are moving in a good direction for you. You may not feel that way, like things are going in the best direction for you, but they are. You know, there is definitely a need for knowing that the universe is not against you. The universe is with you and is trying to move with you as well. So long as you allow yourself to move with it, more of your abundance will come through and progress and uh, really go in the right direction. You know, sometimes it's hard because you may think to yourself, like, I don't know, Moonlight, you know, I don't know if abundance is really, you know, going to come my way. I don't know if I'm worthy of that kind of energy or if the universe thinks I'm worthy. But no, you know, that's the thing is that sometimes things fall apart so better things can come together and that's one of the most important things definitely to keep in mind um, because rejection really can be redirection and obviously if this means something really positive for your um, question then great but it just shows here that there is an energy of um, redirection and a sense of rebirth and change which can lead to you know better things coming together where you think to yourself no wonder that happened so that this could have happened, you know? So there's a sense of healing and also your heart having a lot more peace in regards to that, and especially in the future in regards to this question too. So it's shown a no, but really rejection is redirection. There's a, you know, good sense of healthy progress that comes with that as well, which I think is very good, you know, to see and to, to hear. 
And so, that very much concludes our yes slash no to any question reading. Let me know if you liked this concept. I would love to know if you enjoyed it or if you thought, meh, Moonlight, stick to your normal readings, please. <laughs> Let me know. Honestly, you can be brutally honest. I really honestly won't take offence to anything. Um, after all, you are watching the readings, right? So yeah, let me know. Um, also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Let me know how it resonated with you. That would be amazing. Um, check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, intention items, which are on my website, ta-da, shopmoonlightguidance.com. So you can check everything out there as well. And definitely do take care, everyone. Stay safe. And for sure, let me know in the comment section below. And again, don't forget to like and subscribe to the um, channel. And also like the video. That's what I meant. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Bye.